In the first lunar eclipse of 2022, the moon glowed red on Sunday night into the early hours of Monday as a total lunar eclipse created a dazzling blood moon. Vice President of the Barbados Astronomical Society, Ricardo Small, tells CBC News a full lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the darkest part of the Earth's shadow. It is occurring because the moon is now moving through the Earth's shadow. It is moving through the thickest part of the Earth's shadow right now. And um, hopefully tonight, if the clouds don't intervene, we will be seeing a total obscuration of the moon. Right, the moon will turn a very bright, um, a very dull, sorry, a very dull red color. Lunar eclipses are sometimes called blood moons because of this phenomenon. Due to the reflection or the refraction of um, sunlight through the Earth's atmosphere from the daylight side of the Earth, okay, so that will cause the the dust. The, the, the um, volcanic dust in the Earth's atmosphere to absorb the, the spectrum of light from the sun and only emit the red end of the spectrum. The eclipse began around 10.30, peaking just a few minutes after midnight. Stargazers around the world tried to get a glimpse of the spectacle from the best vantage point. The clear night sky permitted Barbadians to descend on the Harry Bailey Observatory in Clapham, St. Michael, to witness, document and learn about the lunar event. Generally, I don't have a lot of interest into astrology, but having doing research and looking at articles on past blood moons, I just found it in my best interest to come out tonight and witness the blood moon firsthand. I got information about it on Facebook. So I thought it would be good to bring my daughter here to get her interested in science and learn about new things. From the moment I saw it advertised on Facebook, I started making plans. I started calling my friends and messaging my friends to see if they would join me. Unfortunately, they all have jobs or whatever. They had to go to bed. But um, I'm here. I'm enjoying the atmosphere. I'm enjoying the um, just the camaraderie of everybody around. So I was also very interested to see the eclipse tonight. Um, I think it's very interesting and it doesn't happen often so you should try and see it when you can. The total lunar eclipse was visible in much of Africa, Europe, South America and most of North America. Aaliyah Briggs, CBC News.